Hello my friends, thank you so much for joining me, very happy to have you here because today I'm going to share with you a majestic guitar trick that is going to make your acoustic guitar sound absolutely magical. Now we're going to be looking at the E chord and the A chord in a way that you probably haven't looked at it before. And even if you have just started playing guitar, you're going to be able to play this. It's really easy, they're going to be going up and down the fretboard playing some beautiful voicings. So I wanted something special to debut. <laughs> My new acoustic guitar. Now, if you seen my last video, you'll know that I was looking for a new travel guitar because I've been traveling all around Europe and I will be continuing to travel and I need a good travel, a good little parlor guitar to take with me. And I get lots of great recommendations, so thank you very much for that. But I settled on something that I hadn't seen before. You know, they say the guitar chooses the wizard, or you know, you know what I mean. And this guitar certainly chose me. With my eyes at first, I mean, look how beautiful this guitar is. It's a Sigma 0042K, a Koa guitar that looks like a custom Martin, right? It plays like a Martin, but it certainly doesn't have the same price point. But listen. <sighs> Gorgeous. I just put some new strings on, so apologies if it does go out of tune. I'll try and keep on top of it. But... Yeah, thank you Sigma, what a great guitar. So I wanted to create something really nice with some really beautiful acoustic voices here. And we're gonna be doing something that I've done before, um, but we're gonna be adding a lot more to it. So if you've seen my lessons where I'm looking at playing these voices in the key of E, then you're gonna love this because we're gonna take it a step further and play a really cool voice in that I hadn't even played before. But I played it and I was like, wow, it's great. So we're going to start with this concept though, right? We're going to have a full chord progression to play. But again, like everything else that I do, this lesson is designed for you to take away and to mess about with yourself and come up with some stuff. So we're going to start with the concept, <coughs> which is playing in the key of B using these triads, but with the open strings. So we're playing the chords in the key of B on the D, the A, D and G strings. And we're going to keep our index finger free and we're going to start with our middle finger here. That's so that we can move into these other shapes quite nicely. Okay, so we're going to call this shape one. We're going to move these two fingers up to the fourth fret. Put our index finger on G in the second fret. That's going to be shape two. And this is basically the minor shape. The major and the minor. And we're going from an E to an F sharp minor. Moving the shape up to four and six. That becomes a G sharp minor. Back to the E shape. 6 and 7, this becomes an A chord, A for apple, and then this same chord up to 8 and 9, this becomes a B, shape 2 of the minor shape of 9 and 11, this is C sharp minor, and we're going to stop there because I don't really have any more room, but that's plenty for what we need to do, and you want to make sure you've got that under your fingers, so let's practice strumming that a little first. So the chord progression we're going to play is going to be an E, C sharp minor, E, B, E, back to E again. So don't worry, I'm going to go through this uh, in more detail, uh, but we're going to be playing the A chord a little bit differently. So once we get to the C sharp minor, this. Alright, so what did I do there? When I got to C sharp minor, I moved into another triad shape. <clears throat> now, if you use the cage system, we know that we have the C shape, I can't really make it here in this guitar, for the A chord. Okay, and if I take a triad out of that on the uh, the D, G, and B strings, I've got this shape. 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> we have my finger, my third finger is basically on 11 in the D. My first finger is on 9 on the G. My middle finger is on 10 in the B. Now, you should really get yourself familiar with this shape. It's a great shape to use. And loads of really cool people use it, right? Like Hendrix and John Mayer and Frashanti and all the other guys that are, you know, I love. That sounds great, but there's one other thing that I could do when I'm here. Now, instead of coming back in here to the B, when I'm playing an A chord here, using the caged system, I should be able to go A sharp, B, and play B right there. Alright, just by moving that shape two frets up. And I can include the A and E strings as well, because it sounds good. And then I can just mash and match all of those options together and come up with something like this. There you go guys, so I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you got some juice from that lesson. If you did, let me know in the comments, otherwise I will see you soon in the next lesson.